Planet Dolan. From bizarre pencil drawings to amazing paintings gone wrong, we count 11 hilariously bad fan art fails. Hey there, I'm Hellbent. I'm here to learn you suspiciously amazing facts that I didn't just make up. Number 11. The famous, lovable British actor Hugh Grant has a very recognizable face, even when his face is falling off his head. Most of the portrait's well drawn, but somehow the artist managed to fail at getting the basic angles right. His giant monster hand looks pretty good, but it looks like the fingers are pulling his eyes off his face. But at least they covered it by making his eye wrinkles 5 meters long. Number 10. Look, I'm no sports ball expert, but even I know this drawing of Derek Jeter could use a little bit more work. Apparently, it's supposed to be the famous Yankees baseball shortstop, but it looks like a drawing done by a criminal sketch artist who took the day off and let their little nephew fill in for the day. He looks like he's just seen some kind of horrific event and he's trying to warn me. Get away. Get away. Get away! Number 9. Apparently, Kendall Jenner is famous for being famous, which is probably why some person decided to submit their absolutely breathtaking drawing of her online. I have no idea how somebody with this facial structure would talk. I'm sorry, it sounds something like this. I'm Kendall Jenner. It also kind of looks like somebody took a baseball bat up to the side of her head. Or maybe that's a contour. Pretty hard to tell. I'm gonna go with baseball bat wound. Whoever Miss Jenner is, I'm sure she's totally flattered by this beautiful piece of fan art. It's kind of like a fun little what if scenario. You know, what if my mother drank a lot more while she was pregnant? Number 8. Speaking of people that probably shouldn't be famous, here's a bad picture of some guy called Lewis Tomlinson. Let's see, says here he's a member of One Direction, but in this picture he looks like a hobbit with a meth problem. Maybe this is what the guy actually looks like, though. For all I care about One Direction, he may actually be a two-dimensional drawing that has grids all over his face. Look at that expression. He looks like he's about to ask you for a cigarette. Number 7. This portrait of British actor Orlando Bloom looks exactly nothing like him. The artist has attempted to capture the rugged charm of the Pirates of the Caribbean actor, but has failed miserably. They've even attempted to write his name in a totally rad font. Next to the drawing, they've scrawled, God, I need a lot more practice. And eh, we'll give him bonus points for honesty. Number 6. Making art isn't easy, and one wrong line can make a whole drawing go horribly wrong. But this artist barely got one line right. Allegedly, this is a portrait of singer George Michael. It's not the worst drawing ever, but when you compare it to the photoshopped version, you start to realize that the proportions are pretty far from being accurate. Number 5. As bad as these portraits have been so far, at least they're not as cringeworthy as these horrible Harry Potter puns. Several people geniusly scribbled the words Dumble onto their doors as tribute to their favorite Hogwarts wizard Dumbledore. At least this one is a more original play on the word doors. I'm sure Jim Morrison would have loved to see this image of his body with the giant wizarding beard and four random nipples. Ugh. Number 4. I think most artists are guilty of drawing bad fan art during their teen years, so I wonder how this artist feels about their attempt at drawing Leonardo DiCaprio. They nailed the shading for the most part, but why does it look like his mouth is full of marbles? Something about this picture doesn't add up. His lack of eyelids doesn't help, nor does his overly shiny complexion. He kinda looks like a half-melted Ken doll. Well, that's the problem with drawing famous people is that it's way easier to tell when somebody's messed up. Number 3. According to some magazine, Jennifer Aniston was voted the world's sexiest woman, but this portrait isn't very flattering. Everything about this drawing has failed. The tones, the proportions, the strange gray teeth which seem to be flying all over the paper. I sincerely hope this artist still has their day job, cause this picture is inexplicably terrible. I'm Jennifer Aniston, give me a big ol' cast. Number 2. Remember that time in Harry Potter where the three main characters were walking heart attacks? Neither do I, but here we are! Deviant artist Sarah Gojenna takes movie posters a different movie cast and draws them as gigantic big ol' fatsos. Come on, and I spaghetti-o to my face-o. 
But I guess if I could magic up any food I wanted all day every day, I would be a huge fatty too. I think they're gonna need a bigger broom. Maybe one of those giant push mops. Number one. This masterpiece was painted by an Etsy artist called Dan Lacey, and apparently British rapper Macklemore liked it so much that he bought it for his lounge room. The painter whose online store is called The Painter of Pancakes has a series of abstract works with celebrities and hotcakes including Donald Trump, Kanye West, and David Duchovny. The painting of Beaver looking down at his syrupy pancake cock definitely takes the cake for the weirdest fan art, if you can even tolerate to call it that. I think I'm gonna skip out on pancakes for the next couple of decades. Got an unpopular opinion on something everyone else likes? Let us know on the Reddit page link below and you might be featured in a future countdown. I sincerely love you all very, very, very much. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon. This person, let's just dump a bunch of cheap cheese on there. Here you go, enjoy your macaroni and fuck it! What's that? You want dessert? Oh, I got this cup of water and some sweetener. Here you go. Everything's fine. Life is great. This really is the culinary equivalent of a complete mental breakdown.